So, tell me your childhood in the Philippines. Kauin Bulacan in the Philippines. My mom and dad left in country to go to Saudi Arabia to sustain and maintain uh, my education so that I can go to private school and they can provide for my um, they can provide a better life for me if grandparents and my auntie raised me. It's a happy childhood. I hope they helped me get to go to um, United Kingdom. First, um, I finished my um, nursing degree a lot of um sleepless nights a lot of hard work you know mm-hmm. it's so hard to pass the board exam but i managed to ace it and then um, mm-hmm. after passing the board exam i applied to the prestigious hospital which is um chinese hospital metropolitan medical center after my head supervisor noticed that um i am capable and then i got promoted to become a charge nurse and then um while working proceed to studying master's degree in Kamatasan and Luzon, ng Maynila. Then my mom told me that you need to fly to United Kingdom on January 10, 2010. Can you tell us about your PhD? I first started my career route when I applied in Salford University as a graduate. I was working before as a nursing care assistant. But then mm-hmm. I know that it's very rewarding to help um, elderly patients who cannot help themselves and give support and love and care to them when their family is away. But then I can I can sense that I can do something better. I can do something more. I don't want my life to be just stuck in one career. I want to always progress. I decided to get a pen and paper, wrote a personal statement to stand out in the crowd. And then I applied mm-hmm. to UNI- UCAS. And then after applying to UCAS, I got accepted in Salford University and in pharmaceutical science. At first, it's a financial yeah. strain and struggle. Mm-hmm. Because um every single month you are just only entitled for an uh, a bursary to sustain and maintain your um your everyday life and including mm-hmm. your family life and work life and petrol and everything. But then um I tried to balance it and um calculate my um expenses. So mm-hmm. I, I make sure that um I'm gonna save at least small amount on this area. Um and my mom my mom always send me money. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was yeah, it's a good years. having yeah. a Filipino mom. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> so tell me about your research. My research that they assigned to me is some new chemical processing and recycling technologies for autocatalysts. I'm currently working on recycling the catalytic converters because um mm-hmm. recently these catalytic converters, most of the like most of the the companies in the UK. They only recycle the um, the precious metals, which is platinum, palladium, and rhodium, which will give a lot of profit to them and a mm-hmm. lot of money in econ- um But then um, the the, remi- the remaining parts of the catalytic converter are not being recycled, like the ceramic insulation fibers, which they dump mm-hmm. currently being dumped in the landfill. So for me, in my project, that's my project is trying to achieve. Instead of dumping these things in the landfill. We can mm-hmm. um, create ways and utilize it. How can we make it usable to the economy and to the environment, lessen the pollution from the landfill by um, recycling it? And then um, extracting mm-hmm. the silicon, aluminum, magnesium, and calcium compounds from that waste and create from that raw material and um, waste material. We will create um, cement that can be mm-hmm. used by the smart creative technologies. Um, LTV. So, but then um, we are not only limited with creating a cement. We we mm-hmm. are um we can also create um fireproof for plasterboard and then um, okay. like gypsum and then uh, we can also create uh, magnesium oxide. We can also use for different um um constructions for building material. We have a recycling approach in disposing the 
secondary raw material because um usually they they use the ash lab to make a uh, concrete today they reutilize the ceramic waste if you've been given a job Welcome and you don't know what to do research it you know um try to find ways on how to to develop your um knowledge and skills and um if you believe in yourself i think everyone can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome.